Hey everyone, Sean here from Psalm Wine Club, and I've got some wine for you. This is the 2019 Enzo Boglietti Lenge Nebbiolo from Piedmont in Northern Italy. This is part of the May 2022 Psalm Wine Club box. Now, Enzo Boglietti is actually two brothers, Enzo and Gianni Boglietti. They are the current generation of the family that has been living and working in the Lenge and specifically in the village of Lamora for generations. Their property that they farm is an amalgamation of property that was handed down by their father's father and their mother's father, and now they work all of this land centered around the town of Lamora, producing some pretty intoxicating styles of Nebbiolo. Lenge Nebbiolo is kind of the approachable style of Nebbiolo. If you think about Barolo and Barbaresco, often these wines can take a decade or more before they have integrated, softened, uh, or even just opened up to the point where they're enjoyable rather than just being angry and aggressive and tannic. Nebbiolo is, I think, the king of Italian red grapes. A lot of people will argue and they'll say Sangiovese. Sure, Sangiovese, Nebbiolo, they can duke it out for that top spot. But Nebbiolo has something special. Uh, the name Nebbiolo comes from La Nebbia, which means the fog. If you see pictures of Piedmont, it's these rolling hills uh, that catch this fog as it drifts through the valleys and settles in these low spots. It is an absolutely stunning region to look at. Lamora, uh, being one of the heart crew of Barolo, it's maybe some of the most uh, established, well-known, uh, renowned cruise vineyards uh, are in Lamora. And the style of Nebbiolo from Lamora tends to be a little bit more ethereal, a little bit more floral. It's elegant and it's light and, well, light for Nebbiolo being structured, but still kind of lifted and energetic. Let's see what we uh, pull out of this to start off with. Nebbiolo to me is such a great spring red uh, because you're talking about things that are like right now, morels uh, are incredible with Nebbiolo, all kinds of mushrooms, truffles, uh, duck, and, and lighter red meats as well. You don't have to take this to like summer barbecue, but you can definitely do it with something that's grilled. There's a ton of red fruit here. It's raspberry red cherry. There's dried rose petals and violets. There's this earthiness that's not quite earth. When people talk about Nebbiolo, they sometimes say the wine of tar and roses because it smells a little bit like pavement asphalt, that kind of dense, dark earth character, but layered on top of floral and red fruit and spice. There's a little bit of anise and kind of dried herbal character here. There's some dried grass. Taste. This has so much power for a Lange Nebbiolo. You talk about Lange Nebbiolo being the more approachable style. And Enzo Boglietti has definitely done that with this wine, but there is no denying that this wine has some serious pedigree. When you look at where the fruit is coming from in this area that is known for producing these absolutely classic styles of Nebbiolo. The structure here matches that. The tannins sit right up front. They are fruit and spice and they linger on your palate. Uh, they definitely need a little bit of air. Decant this, you wanna put it into a, a carafe or something to splash it around, wake it up. I opened this like 20 or 30 minutes ago just to give it some air in the glass. And it, it needs it in like the best possible way. I know I already started kind of talking about food because as soon as I smell this wine, as soon as I start even thinking about Nebbiolo, my mind just starts thinking about food, about fresh morel risottos or grilled duck breast. Just take a little knife and you just score that skin so you get that perfect, perfect crisp on the duck. Uh, mushrooms, truffles, uh, earthy vegetables even too, like squashes and things. 
if you've been holding on to squash from uh, from the fall and they're still sitting in your in your dry goods cellar doing like butternut squash and nebbiolo is delicious especially if you've uh, got some pasta or something that'll kind of give it a little bit more richness oh yeah just like simple uh, you don't have to get super fancy and crazy with this you'd be just as happy having this with make sure it's really really good pizza if you're gonna go that direction um, but it's comfort it's it's literally feels like a warm hug it's ah, making me want to go to Italy is what it's making me want to do this is super impressive I am so thrilled to be able to share this with everyone this month uh, there is still some bottles of this kicking around in the market. There's a couple of restaurants and a couple of retail stores that have picked it up and are carrying it, uh, but it is relatively new to the market, so if you haven't seen it yet, don't be surprised. It will be around. Uh, you just may have to do a little more hunting or uh, join up Psalm Wine Club, and I will be more than happy to share all of these cool gems with you uh, on a monthly basis. So thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time.